Hi, and welcome to your next video in Computer Science for Everyone. This time we're going to talk about if statements. So, we have here our programming environment called Eclipse, as we know. And I've created a class called Comparison inside a project called Comparison. What this class is going to do, it's going to compare a number that the user inputs to a set of numbers and then tell us whether the number the user has input is bigger or smaller than the number we're comparing it to. So, a common practice when developing something that is slightly larger than what we've been doing so far is to create um, a comment at the top that will explain what this class is going to do. like so. So this class compares a number that the user inputs to another number. Then it tells us whether the, num the input number is greater than, equal to, or smaller than the number the user has input. That's the author, and usually you put the date as well. So um, today's date is the 28th, 27th. Okay. So, just as an aside, the fact that this comment has two asterisks at the beginning instead of just one changes its color and also it is used in the class description whenever you hover over a class and um, this comment here pops up as a class description um, it is part of what we call java doc which stands for java documentation um, you don't have to worry about documentation just yet. Just know that with two asterisks at the beginning of the class, it is used as a description of the class later on. Okay, so there we have this. Let's just do it this way. Our imports are going to come here. Um, and we're going to need to import the scanner so that we can ask the user for a number, of course. Okay, so the first thing we do is create scanner object like so and we will need to import the scanner as we know so we just click this light bulb and then import this I'm going to remove this and put it up here okay so we have our scanner then we ask the user for a number like so and notice how I'm using print instead of print ln so that the user can then input the number on the same line as this instead of on the next line simply for usability purposes and then we will assign this number to a variable so int num equals scan dot next int as we've seen this and so far we have what we um, what the number that the user has input in order to test that up to here we're working correctly what we can do is print out the number to see whether we have the correct number let's try that I'm saving and it is taking a while okay there we go enter a number let's input five and then we get five back okay so when we print the number out, we get the number that we put in first. So that's perfect. We can make this a comment because this we used it for testing during the development of our program. We don't want this to be in the final program. And finally, we compare So we're going to check that the number is less than, equal to, or greater than the number 10. So in this case, we're going to check if the number is less than 10. So if num is less than 10, we will do this. 
num, which is the number the user has input, and then we concatenate this to the words is less than 10. Okay, let's see if this works. Enter the number, and we get 5 is less than 10. Try again, and we don't get anything back, just as we expected. We haven't told our program to print something if the number is greater than 10. So, there are two ways in which we could do this. One of them is if num is greater than 10, we do something. However, this would mean that both of these would run. This means we would first check if number is less than 10, and then we would check if number is greater than 10. Even if the number is like 5, if number is 5, then we would check is 5 less than 10, and we would print out, and then we would check is 5 greater than 10, and then we wouldn't do anything. What we want to do is make it so that we only check if number is less than 10. Like so. If number is less than 10, we print out and then we jump to the end. We don't check anything else. If the number is greater than 10, then we will check the next one and then the next one and the next one. So if the number is greater than 10, we will print num is greater than 10. And if they are equal, we will print that they are equal. So here we go. Let's try and see what happens. Enter a number. 10. OK, 10 is equal to 10. OK, that's brilliant. 15 is greater than 10, and as we checked before, 5 is less than 10. Perfect. So this is our if statement um, programming video complete. Now let's move on to the next video where we'll do some more Java programming. I'll see you in the next one.